People think we're softer, we're more delicate, we're more fragile. I'll tell you I've met men who are like, I'll push them over and they'll break. Okay? Women are tough. Women carry the weight of the world on them. The women's wrestling revolution has opened up new doors for female performers, and it's changed the stereotypical way that they were portrayed. But that doesn't mean everything's perfect. There's still a long way to go to make wrestling a more welcoming place for everyone. In our final episode, we look at the progress that women have made and what still needs to change in order for them to secure the spotlight that they deserve. This is how seven women in the world of pro wrestling have helped change the business for the better. We bear the emotional stress of ourselves, our friends, our family. We're nurturers. We're soft, but also strong. The bird and the bee. It's a very hard thing to balance, but women wrestlers especially, like, kind of find a very beautiful way to kind of make that duality work, soft but strong. I just think we have to slowly but surely change people's minds. There's a lot of men out there that still want that sexy wrestling. And I don't think it's gonna go back to that. And I think that they're just gonna have to accept it. Women's wrestling, it was a, came a long way because growing up, it was bra and panties matches and the butterfly title. But now, like the women, they're bra, they very brolic and they don't look like women, they look like wrestlers, like Jack. I'm like, wow, when I was growing up, they didn't look like that. You have girls of all shapes and sizes and backgrounds and women who are martial artists, power lifters, swimmers, the list goes on. Basketball players, all, dancers, even models, actresses, all kinds of women uh, come together and train for wrestling and they do their thing, and it's amazing. Around the corner, oh, there's the wow. pump kick. Takes Diamante off her feet. Oh, man. I feel like women have done a really good job in the last few years of like showing, like, hey, we're more than just a popcorn match. Don't walk away from our match. Like, you're going to see some good stuff out here. You're going to be entertained. You're, it's going to be great. I think... A lot of guys do feel like, oh, well, you're hot. Like, you've got boobs or you've got butt. Like, that's it. Like, okay, but that doesn't mean, that's not everything. I don't think women should be a special attraction anymore. I think we should have the same amount of women's matches on the card as men's matches. I think we should be paid the same. And I know I am tired of it. And I know most women are tired of being seen as the special attraction when it's not that at all. I think there is still maybe like a little bit of a stigma that women's wrestling isn't necessarily of the same standard as men's wrestling. It's all wrestling, like intergender wrestling, women's wrestling, tag team wrestling. It's all the same thing. Like we're all doing the same thing. Our gender shouldn't dictate what it is. It's fine, we can hang. We'll be okay. If we get cut, if we get bruised, we'll wipe it off and we'll come back next week and do it all over again. So it's fine. Don't make a big fuss about it. Diamante. You have women main eventing shows. I just main evented a show recently, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. And it wasn't even like, it was just, yeah, women of the main event. Why? Because that's it. Yes, we just got to the main event. We're good enough to be at the main event. Now, help us and encourage us so that we can be even better. Because all this talking crap and discouraging us, it's just, it's not gonna get us anywhere. It's just gonna make us complacent and be like, ah, oh, well, maybe I don't have what it takes. Being perhaps the strongest member of the AEW women's division. Like, raise us up. Don't just try to beat us back down because we're not what you think we should put in right now. The better that the girls get in the ring, the more stories that are being told, the more characters that we have, the more personalities that we have, the more it'll attract fans to be like, oh my God, like, man, Marty Bell's gonna be in New York. Like, we haven't seen her in a while, let's go watch. 
as long as we have backup and we have support from the fans and from each other too, that's the thing too, like having good matches with, you know, with each other and like helping each other and just making people better, not tearing people down. I feel like women can get lost in it. Kira Hogan. Oh, Macy Ryan. They can get lost in the drama and the high school like BS. And it's like, we're in a business, man. We're in like a very serious business and people take it so lightly. If we talk about empowering and we talk about trying to be better than the rest, we should actually do it and not just say it. Like we should be showing the next generation that this is how we should be acting, not how we used to act back in the early 2000s or the 90s, you know? I think women, like in general, have been encouraged more to take roles of power and not always be the last person to speak, which is something I didn't think about until recently. But when I first started training, I used to always let everybody else go and do their drills, and I would always go last. Because like, I was like, let, I'll let all the boys go, whatever. I like go to training even now and we're doing drills. They'll always be like stepping their foot through the ring before I can even get up on the apron. Like, oh no, it's my turn. <sighs> but now I'm like, hey, listen, <laughs> I'll, I'll wield my power a little bit more now. It's changed so much since I first started when I was 14, like even then, men would say things to me that were extremely like degrading and they would put me down all the time and just, women's wrestling was seen as, as a joke. Knockout champion, Jordan Gray! I think the Me Too movement really changed things for wrestling. If you see someone that's in a position of power, doing or saying something, even that may seem like a joke to a woman or even a man, I think that someone should stand up and say something. Tell me what the looks like. I wish people would ask about like jobs for women in wrestling. Like you don't only have to be a wrestler. I want women to ask, hey, I want to be a producer. How can I make this happen? Hey, I want to work gorilla. How can I make this happen? I don't want to just go out there and put on this two piece and go wrestle for 10 minutes. No, I want to do more than that. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but the more support you have, it's attainable. You can make it happen. If you want it that bad, you can create that position yourself if it's not available. For me, that's being a strong woman. You know, saying a strong, independent woman. So don't be afraid. Ladies, don't be afraid.